Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Just wanted to do a quick uh, vlog update video, whatever. Um, just talking about kind of what's going on, you know? So, lately, I've been watching all the David Cronenberg films that I haven't seen over the years that I wanted to see. I've been a big uh, David Cronenberg fan for a long time now. I really liked to fly as a kid. He used to creep me out. And as I got older, I really got into Videodrome. That's probably my favorite film by him. And uh, I really enjoyed Eastern Promises. And... Oh, why is the other one escaping me? History of Violence was good, too. And then uh, Maps of the Stars was pretty good. And Cosmopolis was actually really good. And... Cosmopolis was really good, but also... Um, some kind of police chase or something happening. All right, hold on. Let's pull over for a moment. Cosmopolis was good, as I was saying. Welcome to New York. Um, weird movie, and but it really showed that Robert Pattinson, or whatever his name is, from Twilight, actually had some pretty good acting chops. He wasn't just a one-trick pony. So uh, I've watched Shivers over the years, and Scanners, and Dead Zone. And the other day I watched Dead Ringers and Rabid and The Brood. And was there one more? I've seen Madam Butterfly years ago too. That wasn't really my speed. But overall, I like the weirdness from his films. And I like when he's able to kind of run rampant and just do what he feels. Oh look, we're in this, in this little shopping center. He has a bunch of cops. I wonder if somebody got mugged or something. So, um... I like when, when they kind of let him run rampant. He can, like, mix this weird sort of, I guess, what do they call it? They don't call it cyberpunk. They call it, like, biopunk, where, like, it's human human beings, but with, like, robot parts or, like, parts in them that they can, like, rip open and, like, attach different ones. So I really like when he can kind of do his own thing and have, like, a grotesque flavor with some, like, futuristic-y sci-fi type stuff. Um, there's always some kind of dark element and weird story, so I do I do like most of his movies. I'd say some of them feel more like things that he was like directing that wasn't his story, or maybe wasn't he didn't have like free reign on. He was maybe a newer a newer I don't want to say like a newer director, but whatever. And he, he didn't have like full reign on these things, and he was sort of sprinkling his ideology and his interesting stuff in. So some, you know, some of it I like more than others, but I would say, overall, David Cronenberg really, um, he has a lot of interesting ideas and unique. He's very unique in what he does, so no matter what, it, which movie of his you watch, you usually get something you like, and it's usually got some kind of interesting concept to it, where I can't say that about many other writers and directors in the film industry, especially nowadays. So, um, that's what I've been doing movie-wise, trying to think, and watching Twin Peaks pretty much, like, a day after it airs, usually it's, it airs on Sundays, I DVR it, and then Monday night after I work out, I'll watch it, which is uh, an hour long. I was a big fan of Twin Peaks, I, I loved, uh, this was after it, it ran, initially, I had it on DVD, I still have it on DVD, I loved season one and two. Uh, I thought, I'm going to turn the air on, guys, so you might hear a slight, slight noise. Uh, I loved season one and two. They were great. I think they're dark, but they're funny. They have a goofiness to them and a cheese, which I love. Uh, lots of weird mystery going on. So if you've ever seen Twin Peaks, uh, you'll know what the hell I'm talking about here. But this season's good, and, and I'm, I was actually just, like, shocked that they, they even were able to do a third season after, what is it, 26 years? But it's different. It's it's darker. It's slower. Um, it's a lot more like abstracty feeling in ways. So I do like it. And when I talk with my friends about it, it's interesting. But I also feel like it's sort of the as the series went on, it definitely got darker. I would say like one and two were very goofy, especially like towards the beginning of the show. Then the prequel, Fire Walk with Me, the prequel movie, was really dark, but but good. And then this is also really dark, but it's it's different in a way. Um, 
I also haven't seen Fire Walk with me in a long time, so that I probably should rewatch that. I might fill in some of the gaps. So, but either way, I'm enjoying it. Will I buy that on Blu-ray when it comes out? Probably not, unless like it picks up and really gets super, super interesting halfway through the season now. I think we're about half done. Um, in terms of playing video games, I've been playing uh, Deus Ex Mankind Divided on the Xbox One. It does have some frame rate issues where it seems to like stutter once in a blue moon or sort of like have problems keeping up when I'm like running around the city and stuff. But overall, the game's really fun. I like that uh, this one, supposedly, because I've only played a little bit of Human Revolution. Uh, and I did play a little bit of the original Deus Ex on the PC, like a demo, as a kid. I like that you can sort of approach things how you want to. So, like, I tend to knock people out and, like, drag them away and put them other places and sort of go on the mission in, like, a, a linear fashion where I know there's, like, lots of secrets and hidden ways you can do things. You can go through the whole game stealth and not get caught. Or you can just go in, like, guns blazing on certain missions. So it's really cool, and it has that whole cyberpunk... Uh, appeal for me, where I love that genre of science fiction. So, like, you know, robot parts and, like, hacking and stuff. So that's that's why I liked Watch Dogs so much as well, which I do eventually want to play the sequel, and the sequel's, like, you know, 10 to $20. I don't want to spend, like, 30 40 bucks on it. I, I also don't like in Watch Dogs 2 what looks to be, like, this weird hipster, like... I don't know, millennial type element, it, it just didn't really strike me as interesting. So that's another reason I'm just going to wait for a really low price drop. Deus Ex I had gotten for $8 off of eBay, so uh, that was a good a good deal. <laughs> I think it was 8 bucks, $8 and change. And then my friend at GameStop gave me a case and a booklet, you know, the inserts and everything. Um, i trying to think what else I've been up to. I've been playing a lot of, and this is interesting because I was never into this up until recently, I've been playing a lot of mobile games in my downtime because I can like watch a movie or do something and sort of click auto and let it run in the background. So I've been playing Bit Heroes, which is a dungeon, retro looking, like MMO type game where you can make friends in the game and like join guilds. And then when you go on quests to like repeat dungeons to grind, the guild members, or your friends, or whoever, I think it's your friends, actually, can join you automatically, like, their their avatar will join you, and you can go through and, like, beat all the, the bosses and the bad guys and get better equipment, and the point is to really grind and get better equipment and, you know, save up for certain items and things, and as you continue, the, the, the game gets much, much harder, and you have to grind way more. I think I'm at, like, level 81, if I recall, and um, it's on Congregate, so, you can either play through the website, so sometimes I'll have my laptop on at home, and let it run, or you can play on your phone. So, that's pretty fun. Um, my guild seems to be dead lately, so I may join another guild with more active people that, you know, will help me accrue points and, and I can buy better equipment and stuff or whatever the hell it is. Wow, talk about traffic out of nowhere. So, I've been playing that, and another one I checked out, which I really like, and again, these are kind of more in spurts. I... I I try not to play too much in terms of mobile because it's sort of a one-trick pony, though Bit Heroes is good. Uh, another one I, I play that I like is King of Fighters Ultimate Match Online something. It's like King of Fighters 98 UMOL. And it's similar to Bit Heroes in that you have to like grind and fight and you know click things. This one has a timing-based element, so where if you don't put it on auto, you can, like, push your screen, and if you tap your screen, at a certain moment, you'll do, like, a better attack. Uh, you want to, like, try and recruit all these heroes and, and villains from the King of Fighters series, so that's really cool if you're into the games, which I am. I, I like King of Fighters a lot, and, you know, you go on these, like, little missions and try and upgrade your characters, lots of, like, grinding and upgrading, but with this game... They give you lots of free stuff, so every time you log in, like, in the morning, there's, like, seven or eight things you can click on to get free things, and then if you do, like, one match or one upgrade or do one of anything, you start just getting more free stuff. It seems like, no matter what, they just throw free shit at you while you're playing this little mobile King of Fighters, you know, turn-based game. Uh, I'm not big on, like, mobile games with, like, Twitch gameplay or, like, having to, like, fight or do, like, button combinations. So it being like a like a screen touch type of game or, you know, being able to put it on auto and put it down, 
is pretty cool, especially from like working out or something. So that's really it in terms of gaming, I guess, uh, and movies. I'm trying to think, what else? Personal life has been good. Uh, work has been difficult, to say the least, for about, I don't know, nine months now, eight months, so I'm not sure what's going on there, but that's a whole different topic. And um, been going to my buddy's tattoo shop about once a week still, uh, Tattoo Frenzy in Amityville and uh, in New York. So I'm going to um, do a video with him soon, just interviewing him again. I had done one years ago in his old shop in Lindenhurst. So I'm going to do a video again with him soon, interviewing him and showing off the new shop now that he's pretty much done, uh, you know, redecorating it and everything. Or decorating it, I should say. And uh, that's the gist of it, I guess. Tell me what games you guys are playing um, and what you've been up to. And just wanted to give a quick update. I don't really have much else going on. Um, trying to think what other content. I mean, you know, I kind of just shoot, you know... Oh, I don't want to, not, not from the hip, obviously, but I just shoot, you know, randomly with what I have to talk about, so, you know, something may come up in the middle of the week that might trigger something, I'll go, oh, I should talk about this, so, I'll do something soon eventually, thanks guys for watching, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, be good.